Merry Christmas Eve. morning. It is uh, almost quarter to eight on Friday. This is my first day of vacation. Ooh, I just realized it literally just at this moment. So I have scrap paper and pen and I need to write my to-do list today because we have a lot to do. Um, Leaf is home today so he can help, which is really nice. Um, let's see some of the things that we have to do. We have to pull together all of our presents, separate them, you know, I don't have to say it out loud. I have little ears in the other room. So separate, we have to wrap. Okay. And then I have to figure out dinner. So I have decided that even though Christmas Eve dinner is canceled for everybody else. It's not for us. And I still don't want to cook tomorrow <laughs> on Christmas. I just don't. I don't want to cook. At least not that. So I need to take a drink of this coffee. I haven't yet. Mm. Not my favorite, but interesting. Anyway, so I need to do the dinner plan. I have two recipes that I use every year and they are the Betty Crocker scalp potatoes and Betty Crocker green bean casserole. Thankfully, both of those things cook at the same temperature so they can go into the oven together at different times. So I'm going to write down the meal plan. We're having ham today. And I bought a big ham and like a turkey tenderloin because my mom really likes turkey on Christmas, but Leaf and I really prefer ham. So turkey on Thanksgiving, ham on Christmas. But I have leftover ham that was in our chest freezer that I decided to pull out instead of that whole ham that I bought this year. However, I looked at the date on the ham and it's 2018. So it's only three years. I mean, I think it's fine. I wrapped it up really, really well. That's what we're gonna eat. We'll see. And I'll still cook the turkey tenderloin. So we're gonna do ham. Oops. We're gonna do turkey tenderloin. We're gonna do green beans. 
scalloped potatoes. And I didn't get rolls. Hawaiian rolls was something that I thought of later, but I have some cornbread mix and leaf and the kids like cornbread mix or cornbread. So I'll make those um, probably, I'm, I'll make either muffins or in the pan. I'll do that yet this morning. And then I bought, I thought somebody was talking. I bought pecan pie and um, cheesecake sampler. It's going to be a lot of that left because it's just us. And I think that is our meal for the day. So that is good. Other things that I need to do is um, we need to go, we might need to go to Home Depot. The boards that I bought, the shiplap that I bought for the kitchen, Leaf, Leaf wants to do the kitchen while I'm home. And I bought enough to use like all of it, but the area in the kitchen is like six feet wide and the boards are eight feet. So if I want seamless, a seamless look, I need to buy more boards because the calculation that I used was including the waste at the end of each board. So that means I need, Leaf said five, I'm going to say six boards. And that would be a pickup option. I'm not going to have those delivered. I might need to do an instant cart order. Oops. I started one last night. I think I'm good. I just wanted some things like coffee. My neighbors next door are having a really hard time finding marshmallow fluff for the fudge that Todd makes every year. And I thought it would be really fun if I could find that marshmallow fluff. And it would guarantee that I'd get some of that fudge. I mean, I'd get some anyway because they always give us fudge. But I don't know. I think that's it. I want to do some laundry, but that is not super high on my list. I definitely want to do some stitching that I can fit that in. I think I've got it together. I think I'm good for this morning. So I am going to start. I've already, we, we got up obviously, and I made the bed. Um, I could just feel this in here, my little bobby pin. So I made the bed so that's where I can spread everything out. I'm very thankful that my children are not there we go. But my children are not extra curious, so I can pull everything out and lay it on the bed and just close our bedroom door, and they're fine. Um, I don't really hide stuff. We just put it in our room, like, behind our dresser, and they don't, they rarely go in our bedroom. That is not a place that they're allowed to play, so I better get busy. I'll see you in a bit. You're a very handsome man. <laughs> oh, we're making great time. Okay, so these are our Santa presents. Um, this bottom one and then these silver ones. One, two, three. And there's a skinny silver one there. Those are axles. And then these, one, two, three, four are archers from Santa. And then we have to do this one. This is um, from mom and dad for me, me and Leaf for Archer. We got an aquarium. It's really for everybody. And then we got Axel a keyboard because he's super into um, the keyboard in music right now at school. So we're super excited. It's going to be a good Christmas and I'm really excited that we're actually almost done wrapping because usually we're doing this late into the night um, on Christmas Eve and so I'm just not too interested in that. We have AJ's gifts as well um, but we still have pieces and parts that need to go with those. Um, we got him an ice fishing pole 
but it doesn't have a, a real thing. I don't know. And I want Leaf to go get him a reel for the rod and also some equipment. And then we got him some snowshoes. So I will probably wrap that stuff later since he's not able to come over for Christmas Eve or Christmas. That gives us a little bit of extra time. So um, Archer is finally eating breakfast and then Leaf and I are gonna take these big presents out to the dining room to wrap them and tell the kids to go downstairs for a while. Another thing off the list, I'm very excited. I'm getting ready to make some scalp potatoes and my neighbor is amazing and sent me a crock pot recipe. So I think I'm gonna try to do that instead of cooking them in the oven. And the recipe says that it's really important to make sure the potatoes are cut consistently and she suggested to use a mandolin. I have used this mandolin once before and in my second slice, I sliced my thumb and had to go to urgent care and get stitches. So thoughts and prayers. Safety first. Use a guard. Use a glove. I'm mad at this already. I mean, that's, that's pretty slick. I'm not mad about it. Right, so scalloped potatoes are in the crock pot. This recipe is from wellplated.com. I will link it below. This is what it looks like right now. I have, ouch, <laughs> it is also warming up and this part is hot. Um, I've never made scalloped potatoes in the crock pot before and this recipe calls for grated cheese. So Leaf grated the cheese for me. I've never used grated cheese in my scalloped potatoes either and it calls for regular potatoes and sweet potatoes and I happen to have some sweet potatoes that were dying so they're in there like I said I'll link it below it's from wellplated.com it also says to put three layers of paper towels on top in between the crock and the lid because that will prevent condensation um, and making everything mushy inside so Two and a half hours on high is when I'm supposed to check it. It can take up to four hours, just depending on how many potatoes we put in there. I will report back. Bad news, the ham that I took out that's been frozen since 2018 was, surprise, not good. <laughs> so here is the ham that I bought for this year. It is huge and it is rock solid. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Good news is that we do have a turkey breast that I can make for tonight and I can always make this later. Maybe, ooh, maybe for New Year's. I'll think on that and see if there's a way that I can quick cook this 
I think it's even too big for my Instant Pot, to be perfectly honest. I just don't think there's a way the ham is going to happen today. Don't care, though. It's fine. And this is why. My neighbor brought me a Christmas present. Have any of you seen this? So this is um, Pods Cask and Kettle Hot Cocktail Brewed a Keurig pod or whatever takes pods, mint patty coffee, 75 proof. Vodka and coffee with mint, natural flavors, and caramel color, that sounds kind of gross. Best present ever. Makes five complete cocktails. So I have my mug. You use eight ounces of water. We take out my coffee. And here is the pod. It's liquid, so you're supposed to shake it. Let's see what's up. Oh my goodness. Doesn't. Ugh. I think it needs a little bit of cream. I have some half and half somewhere. Oh, there it is. So, yeah. So I think some half and half, just a dash, and then maybe some Ready Whip. Okay, Inside this special packet, package is a treat, but not for you. It contains magical reindeer food, and here is what you do. Sprinkle this magic reindeer food carefully on the ground. And tonight, if you are lucky, Santa's reindeer will come around. But here is a secret I have to tell. One... One, you must try to keep that Santa's reindeer only come when you're fast asleep. So quickly put your jammies on and get a story read. Red. Mm -hmm. Then sprinkle this magic tree outside and hurry off to bed. Okay, ready to go out? Yeah. Hey friends, it is almost 9.30. Christmas Eve, I am stitching, the lighting's bad, sorry. This is the pattern that I got in the Under the Sea Fabrics. I just realized that I haven't opened up my advents yet today. Oh, no. Uh, Under the Sea Fabrics advent box this is from karen at meridian designs it is the retro christmas ornament it is a retro tree sitting on a little teal tree skirt i have gotten all of the silk done which is that pink and cream and i'm now working on the ornaments and the tree skirt i just want you to see if you can Those ornaments are all in fractional stitches. There are so many fractional stitches in this. Uh, quarter stitches and three quarter stitches, which are not hard. It was just a little shocking, but the effect is really nice. So I have put in these two baubles, as you can see there, and I'm just working on this one. I have just started. So that's what I'm doing right now, though probably not for long. I'm tired. 
Santa still needs to come. Those are all from Mommy and Daddy. But Sienna will be here soon. This one is so very tired. And I have about 20 more minutes of this LuLaRoe documentary, because why not? So I don't know that I will check in again tonight. I will. I need to go open up my advents. That's where you're gonna see me next. Advents! Advents! Do you notice I'm wearing these clothes two days in a row? I can't be bothered. I haven't even brushed my hair today. I don't know what's happening. I can't be bothered. Didn't put on makeup. I can't be bothered. We'll be getting into the shower after this. Have to be bothered. Look at that. Anyway. I hope you all have had an amazing Christmas Eve. Today has just been super chill for us. We got up. We did our uh, presents. Leif might have poured himself a drink at like 10 a.m. <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, I picked up some stuff. I've done some stitching, which I just showed you. I did decide to cook dinner which you also saw. It was super easy peasy. Did have a problem with the ham. I purchased a ham because I was cooking for more people and I get a ham every year. And then, excuse me, when dinner went down to just the four of us, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna cook that big ham. I still, I have leftover ham from, I don't know, a Christmas or two ago in the freezer, in our big stand-up freezer in the basement. So I'm like, I'll just use that. Like, it's not, it's fine. It was not fine. It was not good at all. It was gross. Um, it looked bad, even though it had been in the freezer, because it was from 2018. So I was like, no, I can't cook that. Well, the ham that I purchased last week was frozen solid. So I just told Leaf, I'm not gonna make ham today. I'll make ham next week sometime. But I have a turkey, um, turkey breast that I had purchased because we were gonna have turkey and ham. That was fine. So that's what we had. The kids love turkey. Turkey is better with cranberries, but there's like a great cranberry store shortage right now. Can't find cranberries. It's fine. So it was it was a great dinner. I'm really full. We had dessert. Archer went out and dumped his uh, magic reindeer food. Kids are in bed, though they're not asleep yet. They're watching their Kindles for a little bit. And I'm just relaxing. In opening advent so let's get started so last day day 24 of sweet sparrow yarns I do have a skein to open tomorrow oh how pretty there's a pen with or a pen a pin with a little sparrow and a ribbon I was gonna say a rainbow guys I'm tired I don't know where all the tiredness came from. Excuse me. That's really pretty. No idea what I'm going to do with it. That is very pretty. And here's the yarn. And it is called Warm Whispers. Oh, I need a new knitting project. Got it's time to cast something on. Let's see, put that in there. Um, from Under the Sea Fabrics, we already saw it in a previous note. Previous note, previous video. I am tired. I'm not sure who makes this, I don't remember. But it is a very cute little notions bag or a teeny tiny project bag. This is the back. Um, day 24 from Stitchy Box. Ooh. A 
crystal star. Where was this for my mermaid? <gasps> a crystal star that you can add to the top of a stitched Christmas tree or on your mermaid um, thing. I'm not going to be able to let me see if I can pull you in. Oh, mother. You're just going to have to trust me that it's fantastic. I don't know which way it's supposed to go. I think it's supposed to go this way. That is cute. How does it... It's not a hole. Oh, maybe that's the hole. No. I'm not exactly sure how you attach it. Maybe you just glue it. Stranger things have happened. I've seen lots of people glue stuff on their stitching. Okay. And 24 from Hooting Pirate. That's cute. stickers. How cute are those little wintry stickers? Those are very cute. I will use those. And I like this bag situation. That's fun. Okay, that is all I have. So got a day 25 it looks like from stitching or no this is from Leslie I don't know what that is and this is sweet sparrow yarns for tomorrow so we'll have those to look at and yeah I think that's it I'm gonna take a shower and prepare for Santa's arrival Hope you've had an amazing Christmas Eve, and I will see you all tomorrow.